Welcome to my attempt to solve the practice array list quiz. So let me restart my timer. So I've got 20 minutes. And I need to write the following method for uh, the array class. Um, I need to implement the add method that takes an index and an item. So I want to insert item into the list at the given index. So here's my notepad. So this is the array list class. And array implementation of the list interface. Author. More. So, public class array list E implements list E. So, the list interface. And I don't need to implement all the methods. I'm just going to implement the one that I was asked to do. So, we have a private. array of E's called data, private int size, which is the size of the um, list. The size of the array is larger than the size of the list. So I need to implement my add method, adds item to the list at the given index. At param index and int the index of in the list. At param item the item to add to the list. Oh, at return the item in the list. Okay, so public e add int index e item. Okay, so what's the first thing that I want to do? The first thing I want to do is I want to check to see if the index is in bounds or is valid. So if index is less than zero, so it's negative, or index is greater than size, so we're trying to insert something past the end of the list, we can't do that. We want to signal an error, so we will throw a new index out of bounds exception, and that's enough. So that's so if they give me a bad index, I want to throw the exception. So now I know that the index is. Okay, so but first I need to check to see if size is equal to data dot length. So our list is as big as the data is. If it is, we need to reallocate. So reallocate is a function, as a method that is we need that will increase the size of the array, copy all the old values into it, so now we can add the next, you know, we have room to add the item that we want to put in. And you don't have to implement it. Well, you will implement it for your homework, but not for this quiz. The uh, example is in the textbook. So now we need to shift 
all the items, all the items in the data array from index to size, actually we want to start from size and shift them over one because we're going to insert item into the index. So we need to move the things that are at index to size over to the right by one. So we want a for loop equals size. I'm going to start over at the right side where the item is. Um, minus one because we use zero based indexing. I is greater than index. Now let's start at size. Greater than index i minus minus. So we're going to start at size and we're going to go down until we get to the index. So we're going to move from the end of the list to where we want to insert this thing. And so we need to move the thing. So we want to say data sub i equals data sub i minus 1. So we take the thing at size, we move the thing at size minus one and move it in. And then we move over. So we're gonna shift the things to the right one, make, giving us room at index to now put the item. So we can say data sub index equals item. So we just stored the item in the list and now we need to remember to increment the size because we've added one thing to our array. So now I have my code and so now the question is um, what's the big O of this operation? So we can do look at the code this is just we're going to do one the reallocate um, is going to be a big O of n because we have to create n or two n things, increase the size. And then we follow that with, but that only occurs once every n times. So by, because it, if we execute it, uh, it's big O of n, but we only do it once every n times. So that's actually a big O of one on average. So the for loop is where we actually have the cost in this um, method because we got to potentially shift n things to the right one. So this is a big O of n operation and we always have to do the shift. We have to shift this, the things in the array to make room for inserting into the middle of the array. So the um, add int index e uh, item is a big O of n upper need to shift up to n items. So the Again, to recap what we're doing, we check the index. We always sort of want to check our bounds first, so we make sure that we have a valid index. Um, and then we check to see, do we have enough room in our array? If we don't have enough room in the array, we make more room in the array. We actually create a new array, copy a little things in. The new array is larger, so now we know we have room. And then we need to shift all the things from size to index to the right one and then we can insert item into the array at index and we finally increment the size because we've added one thing to the array one thing to the list excuse me so our list size has gone up by one so this should give you an idea of sort of the way i approach solving this problem again first check your bounds make sure you have enough room and then shift the things over do the actual insert and then take care of the size Thank you very much for your patience and attention.